What is going on, guys? It is Rexy here. Welcome back. It's another one versus one ranked duel. Now, today is the first day of season 10. And my last day of season 9, I actually uh, picked Uller and reclaimed my purple border. I should have been number one Uller last season, except I, uh, I didn't get... My purple border after winning four times and i need you need 2500 points to get a purple border now it's top 10 so i'm really really excited for that for this season but as i said uh it was my last game was uller so you, you know it's got to be my first this season I, we got to start a tradition when i start streams usually it's Thanatos. when we start seasons it's uller you know unfortunately by these guys bands i can't say i'm uh I don't think this is going to be very fair. We're currently 1500 MMR. Um, this video concept is we're going to be going over the shards. The shards are ridiculously strong. And they are, in my opinion, they are going to be some of the biggest uh, changes to duel. These are going to affect duel more than most things, I'd say, in general. Because there's a lot of items that per uh, pertain mostly to... Um, oh my god. Mostly to conquests. Um, but things like the shards. Like, the vision shard is nice and everything. It's a decent... Uh, a decent active or a second active but what these do is each individual one gives you certain stats uh it's like a mini it's like a mini upgrade relic so for this one uh i gain cooldowns every 0.5 seconds so that's the one we're gonna get today i'm gonna go into a shell into that transcendence gotta bear in mind there is a lot of changes it's gonna be difficult for me to go over uh immediately uh and go over everything but i'm gonna be streaming later today Wait, I can buy bluestone? Oh, no. Oh, high res, no! Wait, what? Only bluestone's allowed in duel? Okay, that's bugged. Shoot. There are a lot of changes to go over, and I'm gonna be streaming later today. I'm gonna be grinding, but also doing video concepts. What we shouldn't be doing is aggroing me that hard. In front of all these minions. So, you can go bluestone. Uh, that's that's probably bugged, I would assume. I would very much assume. Oh, that's fine, whatever. I got his beads. It's like my shell, but... Ah, I could have done better than engagement. I'm a little overexcited for the, um... Oh, tried to put a vision shot right there. Did you see that? Overexcited for the season. Definitely gonna go for top, uh, top 10 Uller, top 10 Thanatos. Top 10 on all my main gods, just get that purple border. It's I, That's something I really do genuinely enjoy. Is the changes to the god ranking system, because before it was points. It was 2,000 for Diamond, 1,700 or something, I think, for... I don't know if I should be building Bluestone, so he went to Claw Shard. Which is life stealing physical ability life stealing, which is pretty good, but I know some people build it and then regret it. The sustain's nice in this map, but it's nowhere near as important as, like... You gotta think about one particular engagement where it's really useful. So, if I'm waiting on my cooldowns and my axe to come up, boom. The only issue with my relic... I thought I just heard a rat. Oh. The main issue with my uh, shard, sorry, is the fact that it has... Um, it uses a lot of mana, of course. Back for full tier transcendence. I wonder if this guy's consoles. Yeah, ranked is now crossplay too, which is pretty friggin' insane, dude. I'll have to figure out if bluestone's supposed to be allowed in duel. I think because that's the these are the only two. It must be because they're the only two starters that have been changed. Now they can, they're considered new items, when in reality they're not. That's my assumption. So for today, people are going to be using it. I probably won't be. But, yeah. Yeah, the old god things were like 1750 for a platinum border, 2000 for a diamond. Okay. Come on, ult the balls. 
Ain't got no balls, dude. And I thought he was the... Ah! Oh my god, I thought that was him. What are you doing here, little chest? What the fuck? Oh, and you only have to get it once on the dual map. Okay, so cool. So yeah, what those are... Okay, I wanted to make a joke about him being uh, having acorns, and he has no no sack. But anyways, you got the joke. Um, <laughs> those little things right there are on the conquest map as well. Wait a minute! Did I did I just see what I think I saw? The, the bomb. I just saw the bomb. I'm convinced I just saw the bomb. You guys saw it too, right? Does that mean it's on this map? It's a consumable, technically. Maybe I'm crazy. The thing you get when you kill the Pyromancer in Conquest, which gives you a bomb that secures objectives. My- it went by quick, so maybe my brain recognized it incorrectly. Because it's not something you can actually buy, but it is technically a consumable. Because you can sell it and stuff. <coughs> well, I'm actually happy this is going relatively well. I kind of expected this to be a really heavy wash. Which it is going to be, once um, I'm like mid late game. Yeah, the shards, in my opinion, are going to be humongous in duel, especially for the early game section. Like if you get snowballed on against like a Hades or someone else. It's very easy to just get screwed. And then, like, because you know in this, in duel, every kill matters. Everything matters. Every piece of farm, although it doesn't conquest as well, you can get away with it because, you know, one particular engagement, say you're like 0 and 5, you get one kill, you're gonna be, you know, in there, but your teammates could help you get that kill. And duel, no, man. If they start snowballing, you gotta deal with that shit yourself. You started it. You know, we haven't had much opportunity to actually use the shard, unfortunately. Or hit a fucking axe for the life of me. Axes are so off. Need a chalice, that's for sure. Going, uh, the one thing about Ratatoskr... Ooh. That's an interesting decision. Okay. The one thing about Ratatoskr... ...is that it forces him not to be able to rush defense... ...if he wants to start stacking and stuff. How often does that thing spawn? It doesn't appear on the map... ...but the chest essentially gives you, like, a, a bracer. It's similar to a bracer. Ooh, breastplate regrowth. Can't wait to do a video on that. This cocksucker immediately going. Frickin' bluestone, dude. You know how much I'd be fragging if I started bluestone? Alright, well, you know, I can't blame him. He doesn't know. It's available. He's gonna build it. It's not like he's actively going to his way to cheat. Oh my god, I hit an axe. That's what you beast. So we reset our axe there. Unfortunately, we suck ass though. But yeah, I'm gonna be shooting for GM today. I might play some conquest as well. There's gonna be a lot of pre-records over the course of the week. Um, just a lot of, not like a ridiculous amount, but at least you know the highlight ones. And I'll record a normal one during the day. You guys know that I'm not a huge fan of doing that, but there's just so many video concepts and there's so many moments and like new items and things that I want to try out with you guys. That I hope you don't mind. I'm still gonna try my best with doing normal YouTube commentary. How can I hit an axe 360 perfectly? Yet, I've been struggling on these axes. Yeah, I was up against Hawken last night. From my promo match to uh, Masters Border Uller, I was against his Baka, which was 54 and 4, and I fucking got popped off. It's awesome. Fortunately, not so much today. I can't hit an actual life. Damn. This shit is wide. Dude! Okay, I'm in my own head now, 100%. I'm hitting everything but my axe! Like, what the fuck is wrong with me? <laughs> Tried to block his dash. First dive of season 10? And I failed. Okay, that wasn't worth it. I was gonna beads and then shell as I went for it. First dive? Failed! Woo! First death of season 10. Oh, I 
should have saved my 1-3 for when he ulted, but he waited to let use my 1 and then he did it. That's fine though. Aegis, eh? Aegis. Good. No more fooling around, let's win this shit. From one mids there. Otto's chunk. Oh, what? Oh, he was getting these. Why did he bring both of them over like that? Is he, is that some is this guy cooking some up to, cooking up some a strat that I'm seeing? Man's getting some So whenever you kill them it's only on your team that you get that movement speed boost. I think it's also another stat, but it's primarily movement speed. This man's using that for his escape plan, or his engage plan. That's actually kind of fucking smart. Who is this guy? <laughs> Hold on, I shouldn't have underestimated him. I mean, his whack-ass bands. Okay. Channel my inner Uller. Come on, hit it. Okay. No more dive, Sensei. There must be one. I wonder if they work as wards too. No way. I still wish that they turned this into like a mini oracle thing. It would be kind of busted, but like. But yeah, the cooldown shard with Uller passive is fucking busted. What is that noise that I just heard? Um, I don't even know. I'm just gonna build a cookie cutter. I'm gonna go. I want to try the new crusher though. <laughs> don't talk about my axes this game. Okay, it's my first game of the day. Let me war, but let me let me cook. The one axe that I hit, he's just spiritually aligned for. He's just ready to beads it. He beads it. The fuck? Like what? How was he psychic? Was that heat seeking and he just felt it on his ass? I hope you guys are doing swell, by the way. I hope you're excited for season 10. I know I am, more than anything. So excited. I'm gonna be streaming for a long ass time today. Chilling with you guys. Oh my god, a normal axe. Damn right, I got nuts. You got cocoa nuts. I don't know how much cooldown you have. You're not even going to fence. Honestly, didn't even notice. You feel tanky. I think you're waiting for your ultimate to come up. Oop. Should've waited longer. <laughs> Alright, that might be game, we'll see. Oh, I missed the front creep. Damn, I'm off right now. It's fine though. We won. That's what matters. Potentially. We did not win. He's gonna ult me and kill me. I do it to back. Damn it. I was all ready to do my outro and everything. The Crusher gives 10% pen. Passive hasn't really changed. Let's go Heartseeker as well. In terms of anti heals, anti heals. I can't believe really anti heal isn't in here. It's so absurd. Ooh, I want to try Bladed Boomerang. I feel like this item could be good until- I'm so curious whatever it's gonna build, you know, Paul. God damn, he's the same level as me still. What is he doing? He's not even literally farming. <laughs> Neither am I. <laughs> so, oh. Hello? Rap? Hey, buddy. I'm gonna win the game. What the- From the shadows, he emerges. 
Jesus Christ. Wow. That was a lot of damage. Jesus, we're even, evenly leveled. Well, I hope you enjoyed. Onward. On our way to Grand Masters. If you enjoyed, please be sure to leave a video a like. Check out HelloFresh to the channel. Subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have any suggestions? Leave them below. Anyways, have a good one, guys. Bye-bye.